I'm Bill Hyland, and I want to welcome you to another historical highlight of St. Bernard Parish. Today, we are visiting St. Bernard Church and Cemetery. St. Bernard Catholic Church was the first church parish established downriver from New Orleans, and this place was the epicenter of the colonial life of the original St. Bernard Parish. Governor Bernardo de Galvez, namesake of St. Bernard Civil Parish, selected the site of the church and cemetery in 1785, and the ecclesiastical parish of St. Bernard was established in 1785. All Catholic churches in St. Bernard and Plaquemine parishes have St. Bernard Church as their mother church. St. Bernard of Clairvaux was the patron saint of Galvez, and so, because of this, St. Bernard was designated as the name of, or the patron of the ecclesiastical parish. And now today, it's also the name of the civil parish as well. Between 1787 and 1792, the Spanish government hired Francois Chauvin de Léry to construct the original church rectory and commandant's office, which served as the first parish courthouse from 1807 to 1848. The church grounds were the place where auctions were held, where all of the civil and military functions of the post of St. Bernard took place. The St. Bernard Cemetery, established in 1787, is the oldest extant cemetery in the New Orleans metropolitan area. It is two years older than St. Louis Cemetery No. 1 in New Orleans, the oldest cemetery remaining in the city, established in 1789. Church records here at the church, which go back to 1787, indicate that the first burial was here on these grounds during that year. Yet, there were no markers, including crosses, on this property that indicated that we had burials between 1813 and 1787. So it was somewhat of a mystery that we sought to solve. Where were these approximately 150 people who had been buried during that period of time located on these grounds. We undertook two scientific methods, uh, non-invasive, both of them, one thermal imaging and the second ground penetrating radar, and we were successful in locating the burial ground right here where we have now established this memorial, which is on the east side of the present church. The church is so blessed to have the original baptismal font that uh, was housed in the original church in 1787. Generations of people, especially the Islenos, were baptized in this font. It is a cultural, historic, and spiritual treasure. The font itself had been returned to the church, uh, formerly in the possession of Dr. Louis Ducro, and was given to the congregation by uh, Lucy and Duke Collins, descendant of Dr. Ducro, in honor of him. And we are so pleased to have it. This baptismal font can be used for baptism and is used for baptisms today. But in order to use this particular item, uh, people have to call ahead and request that the baptism of their child be, be held in the colonial uh, baptismal font. The church, although founded in 1787, is still a living faith community. Masses are held on Sunday at 10 a.m. and a vigil mass on Saturday at 4 p.m. The historic cemetery continues to provide grave sites for people of our area. St. Bernard Catholic Church and Cemetery constitute a cultural and a historical and a religious site of the very first significance in Louisiana. Here, free people of color, 
enslaved Africans and the descendants of European colonists and the original European colonists who founded St. Bernard, these Lanyos have worshipped their faith and they have celebrated the history of this culture and the history of this community here on these grounds. So it's a very, very sacred, highly important place. And it's been a pleasure to bring all of you here.